Hey everyone, today we're gonna to be looking at the lifestyle of Meek Mill, including his real estate. We're diving into the roller coaster world that is Meek Mill, the platinum selling rapper who's faced a crazy amount of legal drama. Before we get into his property and the story about his prison stint, let's first get into who Meek really is. Well, this story has it all, humble beginnings, a meteoric rise to fame and more twists and turns than a soap opera. Meek Camille, born Robert Williams on May 6th, 1987, came up in the gritty streets of North Philadelphia. His desire to rap was ignited at age 12 after losing a street battle to some other local rappers. Meek says that his uncle, Grandmaster Nell, who was a hip hop pioneer in Philly, was a huge inspiration for him to take this rap thing seriously. In 2007, the hustle was real when 20-year-old Meek dropped his first mixtape called Flamers 1 with the hit single, In My Bag. He followed it up in 2008 with Flamers 2, Hottest in the City, which really put him on the map in Philly. Things were heating up for him. So hot. In fact, by 2008, he caught the attention of T.I. and he was briefly signed to Grand Hustle Records. But just as quickly as the door opened, it closed when Meek got slapped with an arrest and seven month jail stint. I can only imagine how devastating that must have felt for an up and coming artist finally getting their big break. The grind didn't stop though. While he was locked up, Meek stayed in hustle mode and he actually dropped his third mixtape Flamers 2.5 the preview. When he was finally a free man in 2009, the Maybach Music Group CEO himself, Rick Ross, came calling. Meek got a deal with Rose's label and kicked off one of the most tumultuous stretches of his career in life. But what did Meek do to catch his prison sentence? It all stems from an arrest back in 2007 when he was 19. He ended up catching gun and drug charges and was sentenced to 11 to 23 months in a county jail, plus seven years probation by a judge named Janice Brinkley. For nearly a decade after, Judge Brinkley kept Meek on a super tight leash. She repeatedly violated his probation for minor infractions, like testing positive for weed. Other things, including traveling for shows without approval, even once calling him out for inappropriate social media use. Meek ended up going to county jail a couple more times for short stints from 2014 to 2016 related to those violations. But in November 2017, the judge really came down hard, sentencing him to a whopping two to four years in state prison. The reasons? Failed drug test, unapproved travel, and two relatively minor misdemeanor arrests. This harsh sentence went directly against recommendations from prosecutor and probation officer on the case. It was a complete shocker to the hip hop world. High profile supporters like JD, TI, and Colin Kaepernick spoke out, calling it an example of the urgent need for reform, especially when it comes to probation violations. After serving five months of his two to four year bid, the Philadelphia District Attorney's Office shockingly said the sentence was too harsh and got Meek released in April 2018. Well, speaking of drama, Meek also had a feud with Drake in 2015. He got a slight case of big head syndrome after his rap career took off. Then in July 2015, he got wild hair and tried to air out Drake on Twitter. Of course, Drake had to respond, dropping a couple of diss tracks like Charged Up and the iconic Back to Back, which crushed Meek's entire soul for being honest here. When it was Meek's turn for a clapback, there were crickets. His attempt at a diss track wanna know was so bad, the consensus was clear, Drake won this battle. But without any further ado, now let's look at Meek Mill's properties. This rapper has taken on an additional role by actively promoting the sale of his Atlanta residence. He's doing this to generate more buyer interest in the property he put on the market. Meek Mill, he took this unconventional approach to marketing his lavish Atlanta mansion. The Philly-based rapper offered his social media followers a virtual tour of the luxury property on Instagram. This was complete with a humorous showcase video. The sprawling eight bedroom estate boasts an array of amenities like an outdoor swimming pool, tennis court, jacuzzi, double garages, and more extravagant features. Remarkably, Meek is asking a staggering $25 million for the mansion, despite admitting to his fans that he never even lived there himself. While the price might seem ridiculous, the rapper's unique marketing tactics and willingness to flaunt such an opulent property, this can be seen as bold. 
Despite Meek's efforts to market the luxury Atlanta mansion, several of his prominent friends couldn't resist poking fun at this exorbitant asking price and his newfound real estate venture. For instance, Michael Rubin, a business associate, left a sarcastic comment directed at the 35-year-old rapper, stating, 25 mil seems like a fair price accompanied by some crying laughing emojis, clearly mocking the astronomical sum. Additionally, Reason, a rapper from the TDE label, commended Meek's sales abilities, remarking, this is the funniest pitch I've ever read, referring to Meek's unconventional marketing approach. Another amusing part of this situation is that Meek Mill's pursuit of selling this home inadvertently fulfills a lyrical prophecy he made before. Specifically on the track I'm a Boss, he rapped the line crib I ain't never been, pool I don't ever swim. Seeming to foreshadow his current ownership of a lavish home and amenities he doesn't even use. And there you have it. Who would have thought the famous Philadelphia rapper would find himself playing realtor after all of the challenges he faced? virtually showcasing a lavish Atlanta mansion he never even lived in. From the eye-popping $25 million asking price to the seeming fulfillment of an old lyric prediction, this saga has been nothing short of entertaining. All right, that's a wrap for today's video exploring the twists and turns of Meek Mill. Before you go, answer this question for me. Do you think Meek's prison sentence was fair or an example of a broken justice system in need of major reform? Let me know in the comments down below. Don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you never miss a new video. As always, I'm your host, Kara, and until next time, bye. Hey everyone, it's Kara, or Kara the Vampire Slayer as you might know me, and given my love for all things house and home, I recently wanted to get more hands on myself, and I started tackling DIY projects at my own house. Being a new homeowner, there are plenty of unexpected things to fix, and it's cool to learn what you're doing and hopefully be able to fix it yourself. There are also plenty of DIY projects suitable for beginners like me to do and ones that improve the look of your space drastically. Follow me and I'll teach you what I'm learning and motivate you to join me. You can DIY on a budget even if you're a total beginner. Follow me on Fix It With Kara and we can chat.